Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Gabriel, I'm a Uber driver and this is uh, my story. I'll be sharing some information about my Uber driving and yes, I did over 25,000 rides and uh, many people will say, oh, that's a lot. Yes, it is. It is um, I done it over four and a half years. Uh, it will be five years in uh, 2019 in... Uh, March of April, I don't remember exactly what was the month when I started to drive into Uber, but before the Uber I was driving for a Lyft for a little bit and I I do it as as many days as I can, as many hours as I can right now. Um, as I see it as uh, very beneficial, I can make uh, quite a, quite a money. It's a little bit less than it used to be, but it's still uh, profitable, especially with the cars um, that I had, uh, hybrid cars that you can drive many miles with not much gas. And uh, right now the gasoline, cost of gasoline is about $2.29. Uh, in uh, Virginia, Maryland and Washington DC, so there are some some gas stations are uh, more expensive but you can actually find the gas for two dollars and seven cents two dollars nine cents so i paid 229 today i'll put 11 gallons and uh, i'll be good for the next three days or so so today is saturday i mean sunday uh, january 6th 2019 and the purpose of this uh, video or videos following this video uh, is uh, sharing my experience with the uh, Uber driving and some other information about me and uh, how you can make the money driving for Uber or, or do some other stuff. Uh, what I do is uh, I have a full-time job. Uh, I'm working as a portfolio manager for a, for a company, for a parking company in uh, Washington. Uh, DC, um, Maryland, and uh, Virginia as well. So I have multiple locations, and I'm responsible for uh, that portfolio. And um, if I don't do that, uh, my most of most of my time is dedicated to driving for Uber. Um, and if I don't do this, then uh, I'm trying to make money otherwise. Uh, Mostly right now it will be a trading, a stock trading, and um, that's uh, basically the other source of income, and it's kind of passive income that I can do it from my phone. Um, and uh, yeah, earn the money. And anyway, I'm driving for Uber because I like to drive. It doesn't really bother me to drive. I can sit in the car for. 8, 10, 12 hours a day and it doesn't bother me uh, there is some traffic, yeah, that, that's something that uh, I cannot I cannot do nothing about so, but I'm driving mostly because I can make money it's a profitable business with uh, 25,000 rides um, you can do a quick calculation that uh, minimum minimum amount that, that we drivers receive is $4 so, yeah, if you do calculation, 25,000 uh, rides by $4 is already $100,000. So I make much more than that, um, and I will be able to share uh, earnings as well later on in uh, 20, two, uh, 2017. I made $98,000 driving for Uber. So it's a lot of money and many people may say oh, why, you, why do you have another job or why you are driving for Uber if you, if you make $98,000. I was like, mm, yeah, I make $98,000 but I have another job which is paying a little better than that. And um, I'm taking all the advantages of, of driving for Uber for uh, tax purposes so all the mileage would I drive is tax deductible and I will be deducting all the taxes in 2018 as well so hopefully I will get a chunk of money 
from the government because I already paid thirty-seven thousand dollars in uh, 2018. Uh, that's what I had on my last uh, paycheck from my company, and I don't have exact number from Uber yet. Uh, I have to wait for 10.99. As soon as I have it, I will be able to share the information, and um, yeah, hopefully it will be helpful for many people. So the purpose of, of, of these uh, videos will be to, to show that, yeah, it's possible to make $100,000 and have no education, uh, no degree. You don't have to go to any school. You have to have uh, very high ethics, work ethics. Work every single day, do as much as possible, and have a goal. Uh, my goal for a day is $200. And many times I'm going over that uh, just because I can I have to take every single response uh, opportunity to do it because you never know when will be your last trip last day um, so there are some motivational speakers and uh, the guy who, who actually came and uh, talked to our company a couple of years ago put some videos on LinkedIn once in a while and uh, the last one what I saw he was a salesperson, so he's talking to salespeople a lot of time, and he was uh, basically selling one more, one more, and basically that was one more per day, and that's what I do as well. I'm trying to do one more per day, because this last one can be twenty dollars, thirty, fifty dollars, or even hundred dollars. So you you never know, and I had some experience that uh, my last trip was hundred and six dollars and it was my last trip for a day I didn't know I didn't expect that much money I never know where the customer is going so that's one thing about the uber that we don't know where where is customer going until we start the trip so I can go pick up someone and I have no idea where they're going are they going two blocks three blocks or they're going 60 miles 50 miles i do not know so that's something that um, i would like to know ahead of time because what happened today and today was a kind of crazy day i was driving from dallas airport and i didn't have much gas i had only 24 miles to empty gas uh, empty tank and i picked up someone i was on a highway on 66 i picked up someone in the falls church I was like, okay, that will be a short trip, two, three miles, I will get to gas station, I will still have a cushion of 20 miles. And as soon as I started the trip, uh, destination was Dallas Airport, and that was 20 miles from my loca from the location. I was like, great, I have a range of 24, and I have to drive 20, and usually the range shows higher number than uh, you can actually do so that was kind of uh, stressful one of the most stressful uh, trip and I talked to the guy and I told him hey you know what I didn't know that you are going to the airport um, uh, hopefully we will make it and he was kind of understanding uh, when we are still at the location and when we came to the airport about two three miles ahead he was like, okay, so how we're looking at the, uh, how we are looking at the gas? I was like, okay, we, we will make it, or at least you will make it, uh, because about two miles ahead of uh, airport, my uh, display shows zero, and then it was showing re refuel, refuel. Um, so I I took him to the airport. That was fine. From there, I went to gas station at the airport, and uh, usually the ga gas stations have really high prices next to the airport, but over there it was $2.29, so that was a great price, put full tank, and actually I picked up someone at the Dallas airport still, and brought them to Clifton, Virginia, which I think I've been here once or twice before, but it's quite far and uh, I'm trying to get to uh, Washington DC but uh, yeah so this is my experience from today and I'm learning every single day 25,000 rides doesn't mean that I'm better than anyone else 
and whoever will start today or tomorrow or in a week or month they are not losing anything they did not lose they lose some lost some time but uh, other than that the experience will come and yeah every every day is different every day i'm starting with uh, zero dollars at, at the beginning of the day and my goal is 200 dollars or more and even if i don't make 200 dollars and i make 50 i'm 50 dollars ahead of most of the people because that's extra money that i can i can generate so um as of my experience i'm driving every single day seven days a week uh, we are limited here in washington dc um, metro area to 12 hours per day and then we'll have to take six hours of break and then we can drive again 12 hours so uh, my usual day is between eight hours driving to 12 hours driving in it really depends Saturday Sundays I'm driving as much as possible so sometimes sometimes eight hours still because sometimes it's no business but usually I drive 10 to 11 12 hours on Saturday Sundays because I can but also I have my goal and if I reach my goal then it's kind of difficult to, to drive more than that and I also thinking about next day it's not only how much you can make per day today but how much you can make today and tomorrow and day after and day after because if you add all the money then it's really a big sum of, of, of money every day accumulation basically so that is that is my goal that's why I'm driving uh, I'm doing it uh, for money uh, I like to drive so why not I used to play uh, video games and uh, driving video games like uh, Gran Turismo 5, 6, uh, some other on the computer with the, with the steering wheel, with the, with the driving seat and uh, pedals and all kind of stuff and did it on the computer, did it on a, a PlayStation 3 and 4 but um, yeah, driving for, for uh, best time or for first place or for points it's okay, but if you drive and you can make the money, and that's what you what, what you are good in or you want to do, it's much better than any points. I cannot sell any points. I cannot sell any first place for for money. I cannot exchange it, but I can exchange my time, driving time, my driving uh, time, sitting behind the steering wheel change it for for money yes i can do it and it, it's it's great so i'm driving a toyota camry 2018 i have this car for seven eight months i have very close to forty eight thousand miles on it and um, i do right now my average is 57 miles per gallon i just clicked on uh, Okay, so here is uh, my mileage. Right now it's 62 miles per gallon, 34 miles uh, per hour is my average speed. And I'm driving 53 miles right now and uh, miles 47,968. So that's what it is. This is my average. I never reset that. Average uh, speed is 19 miles uh, per hour and i put a full tank of gas 611 miles and uh, 62.5 this is basically average from from the time that i put the uh, put the gas so it's resetting every single time i open the gas tank for some reason i don't know why so this is my car this is my monitor and i'm using uh, usually gps tom tom even if i have gps on the car it's just uh, it's using a GPS from my phone and it's basically a display uh, of the car and I don't like that and uh, it's a Toyota the app I, they call they call it Scout or something and there are not many addresses in, in this uh, 
in this uh, navigation scout navigation I don't know where they came from but uh, yeah it's not very good and uh, it's not very useful I'm not using it uh, I rather use my uh, phone and um, sometimes I'm using uh, uber uber navigation sometimes I'm using Google Maps sometimes TomTom Tom, and sometimes I have two navigations and I'm looking which one is better and using one or the other um, so yeah sometimes um, yeah sometimes is uh, Google Maps is the best for me many people will say use Waze Waze is not the best navigation and many times it will take you to the places that you cannot actually cross the cross the three or four lane high uh, not the highways but the uh, roads it's it's crazy but uh, you will actually spend more time on stop signs than uh, you are driving so google maps is uh, is the best and that's my opinion um, and i drove it over about 200,000 miles so I don't know I, I hope uh, I have enough experience to say that Google is better than uh, Waze and also many people don't don't know that the uh, Waze was bought by Google for about two billion dollars uh, maybe a year ago or so so there is in same same information there is a uh, uh, user interface is a little different but they are using same information so they have different platforms but uh, information is the, is the same so yeah so this will be my first video and i will try to share as much information as i can in the future and it will be about uh, uber driving how much money i'm making per day per week and also i may include some information about uh, my trading i'm trading uh, stocks on um, robin hood uh, app and I'm doing it on Robinhood just because I can do it on my phone and it does not cost me anything per transaction so transactions are actually free or very um, very very cheap that uh, you cannot even see um, how much money you spend over there and there are some regulations that uh, we have to pay uh, we have to pay um, for for transaction but it's not 399 it's not 499 599 or 799 as uh, big companies uh, usually charge per transaction and per volume as well so i do have a, i do have account with uh, charles schwab and i'm using it uh, for information basically they have all the news they have uh, level two trading information so i know how many people are looking at the stock how many are selling how many are buying and then i can make better decision but actually trade i'm doing it on uh, robin hood app just because it's free free or or the the charge is less than one dollar for sure for every single trade I, i'm doing so that's uh, that's something that uh, it you guys are interested i will share 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 the link and uh, invite link and uh, you can actually get one free share of some of the companies i usually get the zynga or ge general electric or snap from snapchat or some other one and uh, they will give you a uh, <clears throat> free share value around ten dollars or less so if you want to start and you don't want to put any money uh, you will actually get your first uh, share for free and if you don't want to trade you can actually cash out that and you don't pay any money or any fee all you need to do is link your account uh, with your bank and send money that way uh, the only requirement over there is that you have to have this share for uh, three days and after three days you can do whatever you want with it and you can sell it and buy something different or you can just send money to your bank account and you collect five to ten dollars or three dollars or whatever the price of the stock you will get um so yeah that's something that uh, many people can do and i'm doing it because i'm i'm in the car many hours a day or in the office and uh, i can do it from anywhere anywhere I am so 
that's something that uh, I will continue doing it and uh, yeah that's that's what it will be so as of today is Sunday January 6 2019 right now I have $140 which I make today I started to drive around 6 a.m. and right now it's 12:47. so $140 is great my goal is $250 and uh, yesterday I made $248.99 my goal was $250 so I was short $1.01 and that's okay I, I said to myself that that's that's okay i have to drive next day because today i can make more money I don't want to be in an accident and try to kill myself just because i need to make another dollar uh, that will come that will happen it, it, it doesn't need to be today so patience is one of the most important things what you have to learn if you are driving for uber because sometimes you don't have a ride and sometimes it's very busy and sometimes you pick up many rides and there are four dollars every single one five in the row six in the row maybe even eight and it's kind of disappointing at some point but you just have to keep positive and uh, keep doing what you are doing and uh, yeah the money will add up at the end of the day if you make hundred dollars it's hundred dollars more than you had uh, day, day, day before, and if you do it every single day, with 30 days, if you do only $100, that's $3,000. So my goal is a little bit higher, and for today it's $250. For a week, I want to make $2,000. I don't know if it will happen this week. Uh, probably no, but uh, I will be very close, or I will have at least $1,900, and uh, that's good amount of the money. For something that it's not my full-time job uh, and it's just a supplemental income for me so <clears throat> it's good uh, it should be a good year I mean it's gonna be a good start of the year usually start of the year is very slow for me but uh, I was kind of lucky and uh, I am getting $500 this week just because I invited one of my friends and he did 50 trips which is a, which is a limitation or a kind of rule that he has to do 50 trips and after 50 trips he will get $375 bonus and I will get some money and my bonus was $500 and he did 50 trips within a week just because uh, I told him that he can make quite a bit of money and he bought a new car so he need uh, he need as much money as possible at the beginning so he has a lot of enthusiasm and uh, I kind of motivate him that uh, yes this is uh, possible and he can make hundred thousand dollars as well um, per year so yeah we'll see uh, I will check on him once in a while what he's doing how he's doing if he's still uh, doing it and uh, yeah, I will share this information as well. So at the end of the video or somewhere in the video, I will put uh, my information. I will take a screenshot of, uh, of my Uber app and I will post it so you can see a few weeks of my money, of my earnings. So you can, you can understand that yes, it's possible. And uh, I will also take a screenshot of my um, of my account basically will show my uh, rating and number of trips so if you have any questions you can also ask uh, it will be on YouTube just put it on the comments I'll try to read it once in a while um, and this is my first video so if it's not good uh, then let me know I can do something better I'm recording it on my phone while I'm driving for Uber so and I'm recording it on uh, Samsung S9 this is my new phone I have it a couple of weeks now or maybe months now and um, the other thing what I have in the car is the camera uh, uh, dashboard camera and I will show you what it is so basically it will record uh, the route in the front of the car and in the car as well and I have it just for security. Uh, some people are saying something that 
did not happen you know some people say hey, you know you were rude to somebody and I was like I didn't say nothing to anyone that's for sure uh, I'm not discriminating anybody so yeah for me this is a business I make four dollars every trip that somebody will sit in the car minimum I make probably more but minimum is four dollars why would I set something to somebody it's like losing a customer so I'm, I'm not uh, in business uh, for that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make as much money as possible in the shortest time possible so but yeah I, I, will, I, will, uh, I will put some videos of my driving as well uh, I don't know if it's gonna be this time or next time as I said it's gonna be first video and uh, I'm not a videographer I'm not a marketer I'm, I'm just gonna learn myself so if something is not right something can be improved and can be better please let me know and I'll try to do better I don't know what kind of software I need to use but I will do whatever I have and if I need to buy something then I'll buy something and uh, try to share information so as of right now this is uh, this is just my introduction and I will be sharing information on maybe week, weekly basis, maybe daily basis. I'm not sure how exactly what will be a frequency of these videos. Um, but I will try to do a few, few videos uh, per week. And uh, one video I would like to do at least per week. And that may uh, be um, kind of... Um, kind of um, showing showing you how much money I make per week um, instead of every single day I can I can put a screenshot for every single single day and then will be a screenshot for a week I think the weekly weekly uh, earnings are more important for many people than a daily earnings but uh, I will show informations if somebody will request to show daily daily income that doesn't really matter because at the end of the year I will get my 1099 which will show all the mileage all the income uh, maybe even number of trips I don't know I don't remember what it is what they are sending us I don't think there is a number of trips but the mileage and uh, earnings for sure because that's for the tax purposes and tax pur for tax purpose is not just the income but also driving uh, miles because all the mileage will be tax deductible for us as uh, standard deduction is 54.5 cents per mile so we can deduct most of the money that we earn with uber through the deduction and uh, we should get the money back from from the government for helping people and making money so that's another purpose uh, why I will be sharing these uh, videos because I can help some of you guys who are doing the taxes and you are not getting your money back uh, you should and uh, you need to talk to your tax guy I will have my tax guy but he already knows what to do he did it a couple times for me a few years back and I will be using or the plan is that I will be using the same guy as I did last couple of years so I'll be getting my money back um, yeah so one of the biggest thing for uh, 2019 is not to pay taxes try to be as smart as Trump and other business uh, uh, guys that they are paying zero tax so that's that's gonna be my goal try to invest as much money as possible and get as much money back from the government and uh, reuse this money in the investments for uh, real estate, stock or something else. I will have to find out what will be the best for me without not much work. So as of right now that will be the end for uh, this video and I will be back uh, in a few days or maybe even tomorrow and my videos will be coming from mostly from the car. When I'm driving and I don't have anybody in the car, I will be recording some videos and I will try to do about 10 to 30 minutes. I don't want to do uh, videos longer than that. And uh, every once in a while, I will bring some kind of uh, team 
and talk about so it may be a taxi it will be some something about uber about uber customers about my videos and um, gps and all kind of stuff so if you have any questions let me know and uh, i'll try to answer it as, as soon as i can so as of right now have a good day and uh, uber up you can make uh, quite a lot of money have a good day bye bye